been more than 100 years since the last 100-year flood hit Indianapolis, and that's got neighbors in the Rocky Ripple community worried. As CBS 4's Russ McQuaid shows us, the city has a plan to protect the town, but it could cost some residents their homes. This is the White River as it wanders through Rocky Ripple, and Emma Huddleston says the highest she's ever seen the water come up out of the river is to the base of these steps at the back of her deck. There's a bit of a rocky ripple in the middle of the White River in Rocky Ripple, just off the deck of Emma Huddleston's house. When we found this one, it was like, this is it. This is the home that we want to raise our daughter in. But Baby Fern's house lies right in the path of Indianapolis's plans to protect the rest of Rocky Ripple from a 100-year flood. So... They will be demolished. Uh, they will be purchased and, and demolished, which puts us in a pretty bad spot because this is not a good time to be... We got into this house at a great time, and this is not a good time to be looking for a home. From the town hall right up through the 5100 block of Riverview Drive, the city is set to buy and demolish 14 properties in order to build a better levee or flood wall to protect the other 300 or so homes in Rocky Ripple from the White River if it ever overflows someday. The town would uh, ultimately be under you know, close to 20 feet of water uh, when we have a 100-year flood. The city says it would cost $100 million to protect all the homes along the river, but its budget is only about $75 million, so more than a dozen homes have to go. Uh, the real cost increase has been related to steel. We do need a flood protection solution for the town of Rocky Ripple, and it's just heartbreaking to think about residents who've lived here for 80 years who are now being asked to possibly be displaced from their homes. Emma says this stretch of the White River is great for wildlife. As a matter of fact, there are eagles that nest in those trees right across the river from her back door. But she's afraid her daughter Fern will never grow up to be able to sit on this back porch and take a look at the eagles across the way. Along the White River and Rocky Ripple, Russ McQuaid, CBS4 News. All right, thanks so much, Russ. Now, the city would like to break ground this year. The neighbors are unsure if they're out of time to consider Plan B.